Hi everyone and welcome to Fig Tree Kids. I'm Jenny. I'm Logan. And it's great to be with you. This month we've been looking at the fantastic theme of indescribable and how our God is an indescribable God. His creation has no limits. I've just been taking some photos this morning looking at parts of God's amazing creation and we did that for a few weeks but now we're moving beyond creation and where are we going now yeah we're going to be moving into how god has created us yeah. as people and we're going to be seeing that god has created us for a purpose and one of those purposes is to actually share in his mission in oh, telling wow. other people about him yeah that's fantastic so as you look at the stories we'll be praying that you know that god made you for a purpose and don't forget, there's lots of ways that you can get in touch with us. So keep sending us photos and talking with us. And we hope that you enjoy the rest of today's online presentation. You've got to watch right to the end because there's some special things being shown right at the end this week, isn't there? There is. You can't miss it. All right. See ya.
Well, hello again. I'm going to do the Bible reading now, and I've taken it from a Big Rescue Bible, which is the CEV. It's from Mark chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. Some of you might know this story really well. It's about the friends who lowered their other friend down in front of Jesus. While I'm reading, imagine what it must have been like maybe to be one of the onlookers or to have been the friend or to have been the ones who actually took their disabled friend and put him in front of Jesus. Mark chapter 2 verses 1 to 12. Jesus went back to Capernaum and after a few days people heard that he was at home. Then so many of them came to the house that there wasn't even standing room left in front of the door. Jesus was still teaching when four people came up carrying a crippled man on a mat. But because of the crowd, they couldn't get to Jesus. So they made a hole in the roof and let the man down in front of everyone. When Jesus saw how much faith they had, he said to the crippled man, My friend, your sins are forgiven. Some of the teachers of the law of Moses were sitting there. They started wondering, why would he say such a thing? He must think he is God. Only God can forgive sins. Straight away, Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why are you thinking such things? Is it easier for me to tell this crippled man that his sins are forgiven? Or to tell him to get up and pick up his mat and go home? I will show you that the Son of Man has the right to forgive sins here on earth. So Jesus said to the man, get up, pick up your mat and go home. The man got straight up. He picked up his mat and went out while everyone watched in amazement. They praised God and said, we've never seen anything like this. <gasps> wow, that's amazing. Now we're going to pray together. And before we pray, I want to think about, I want you to think about yourself. I want you to think about the purpose that God has made you for. And also think about how we're better together. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you have made us to serve you and to love you and to love others. Thank you that you're always with us. Thank you that you've made us special. You've given us gifts and talents. Help us to know what they are and help us to use them. Thank you that your son Jesus came to die on the cross for us. And now we can have the Holy Spirit in our hearts and we are better together with you helping us every step of the way. I pray for all the children watching this video today. Please be with them and please help them through everything that's going on in their lives. Help them to know that you made them and that you love them very much. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we're going to watch the so-and-so show and see about that fantastic story that we just read. Uh, That's, uh, I don't know, the Taj Mahal. Basketball. No? Okay. Corn cake. Mad cow disease. Is it a a rubber band? And I don't know, Pablo Picasso. Is that, I'm trying. An old Irish cottage. A haunted house. Uh, 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 baby fish mouth. Baby. A hissy fit. Fine. Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're out of time. You were so close. Really? Yes. What was the word? Indescribable. Who oh, no, knows? Waffle iron. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> oh, but good guesses. Uh, all right. Next word.
because that's just not the way we do things around here. But it would be so fun. Why not? We can't bring 20 baby goats they into your basement. They would be so cute. That's not a reason to bring baby goats in your basement. Why can't you be more fun? Why can't you be more serious? Fun. Serious. Fun. Serious. Oh, hey. Hey, my name is Brandon. And I'm John. This is the So-and-So Show, where we like to have fun yeah. while talking about things that are often quite serious. Yeah. I'm sorry, John. I really, I really shouldn't ask you to change. You are you. I am me. I Let's know you're just... right, Brandon. It's it, it's our differences that have made this friendship work as long as it has. Yeah, yeah. Hey, do you remember when we first met? Are you kidding me? Of course I do. It was like it's almost like it was yesterday. Hey. Hey. I like that shirt. Thanks. John, that was yesterday. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. When we first met. Right, yeah. Right, right. I remember it like it was 25 years ago. What's up? What's up? Hey, that outfit's all that in a bag of chips. Thanks, home skillet. Your memory is very bad. That's what? that's not how we met at all. Plus, we were way younger 25 years ago. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. I remember it like it was No. Uh, what? Stop. Let me let me do it. Okay. Hey. Just a couple of creative kids, our whole future ahead of us. Uh -huh. hey, what would you want your younger self to know if you could talk to him today? Don't be afraid of mayonnaise. It's delicious. That's not true, first of all. Mayonnaise is gross. It is. It's and second, wouldn't it be neat if we could go back in time and talk to our younger selves? I've got a better idea. This always goes well. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Whoa. What's going on? I don't know. Clearly, we've traveled 25 years into the future from the moment we met until now. These old people, they're future versions of ourselves. It's really obvious. Come have a seat, young yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, here you go. <laughs> All right. You're taking this well. Just your standard time travel episode. Uh -huh. Didn't you ever watch Quantum Leap? Yeah. Oh, of course you have. You're me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we obviously know who you are, uh, but what do you know? Oh, I'm really good at math and writing. Uh, oh, and I'm also really good at making sounds with my mouth. Oh. <laughs> I totally forgot we could do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you, me? What What do you know? I know that I can't stay here very long. My father wants me home before lunchtime. Oh. What? Are you serious? You just traveled through time. Take a minute, man. Make some mouth noises. <laughs> <laughs> Is this really who I'm going to be spending all my time with in the future? It's not that bad. Whatever, dude. You're way too dull for me. There's no way we're going to be friends. Oh. This is our future. Do you still not get it, genius? Oh, see? He called you a genius. I was being sarcastic. Simpleton. Okay. Now, wait a minute. I think that sounded like an insult, Mr. Boring McBoring Pants. Don't attack him. That's me. What are you, his dad? Yeah, what are you, my dad? You guys are so mature. Can I go home now? Yeah, go, and I hope I never see you again. Yeah. You will see me again. This is our future. What are you talking about?
talking about? Can we please just stop? None of this is actually possible. Oh, there he goes again, taking away all our fun. This is serious. Fun. fun. Serious. Fun. fun. Serious. Fun. Serious. Fun. serious. It's, it's Bible, Bible story, story time, time with, with Kellen. Kellen. What is up, guys? Whoa! Am I seeing double? Hey, Kellen. Hey, Kellen. What's up, Kellen? Sir. What exactly is going on here? A time travel episode. Ah, gotcha. What story are we doing today? It's a story about some friends who had to get creative to help another friend. Want to help me out? Sure. Sure. Awesome. Our story today begins with a group of friends. We don't know their names, so let's just call them... Egon, Winston, Peter, and Ray. The friends wanted to help Ray because he couldn't walk. They had heard stories of how Jesus had miraculously healed a lot of people. So when they heard Jesus was in town, they decided to carry Ray to the house where Jesus was staying. I don't know. It doesn't look good. The line to see Jesus is all the way around the block. We won't get to see him until next Tuesday. We've got to come up with a way to get Ray in to see Jesus. Think. So they thought. Hmm. 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 <gasps> I've got it. We'll throw him. What? No. Uh, all right. All right, I'll supervise. All right. Okay. On three. One. One. Two, three. There he goes. Go. There you go. Oh, you got this. Yep. Oh. Keep on. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Yep, right in my ear. Yep, yep. You, you got this. I, I'll, I got your blanket. Bring it over. Oh, that's not good. Here he comes. He's coming back. Oh. Ah. Careful there. Don't oh. make it. You got this. Keep on going. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. 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 Here you go. Get that oh. over you. Whew. Huh, that didn't work. Of course it didn't work. Okay, that looked really fun. But they didn't really throw their friend against the wall. What they did do was very creative. They made a hole in the roof of the house where Jesus was. And they lowered Ray's mat down to see Jesus. Whoa! 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 Hi, Jesus. Hi, Hi Jesus. Jesus! Son, your sins are forgiven. What? He can't say that. We, only God can forgive sins. You with me, guys? Guys! Ugh. You with me? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you thinking these things? Is it easier to say, your sins are forgiven? Or to say, get up, take up your mat, and walk? But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. I tell you, get up, take up your mat, and go home. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Jesus did a miracle in front of all those people. Probably didn't give the guy the ability to fly like that, but it was still miraculous. And it all began because a group of friends came up with a creative way to help their friends see Jesus. The end. That was great, Kellen. It's great to see friends working together to help each other out. Mm -hmm. Totally. We all need people in our lives who can be there when we need them. Plus, we need to be people who are there when others need us. Just like Brandon is there for me. And John is there for me. But we're so different. Yeah, but that's what makes the relationship work, right? You're like the serious one, so it helps keep this show from going off the rails. 
oh, and you probably help us loosen up and have fun in a way that makes us more creative and makes the show more interesting. And, uh, and Kellen's the glue that holds it all together. Did you hear that, Kellen? You're the glue. Oh, thanks, guys. And it's an honor working together with you to help others see Jesus. Thanks for the story, Kellen. See you next time. Bye. That was fun. Seriously. Hey, you want to go do a, a show together? Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> we'll work on that. Good luck. Reveal the question. Oh, yeah. How can working with others make you more creative? Maybe different people have ideas that would never occur to you. Or they know some games that you've never played. Or experiments you've never considered. Or mouth noises you've never tried. <laughs> and so it begins. We'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Uh, triangle. House. Clear, uh, uh, up, 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 up. Pointing uh, north. The So-and-So Show. Arrow. Uh, arrow. North. Um, Apple pie. Sun. Cherry pie. Peach uh, pie. Peach, peach pie. pie. Cherry uh, pie. Strawberry pie. Uh, Tomato pie. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Brandon. 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 Uh, uh, foot. foot. All right. That's foot. Uh, I give up. Uh, toothless. Snaggle tooth. Toothless. Uh, toothless. One tooth. Toothless alligator. Yes! Oh! oh! <sighs> toothless alligator? What? Yes! All right, who gets to draw next? All right, I get to draw next, because no. I'm so uh -huh. good. Okay, that's <laughs>